Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. Hello, everybody. You ready to have a good time? I know I am. Cause it's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. For kids, it's number It's never the same of who I used to be. It used to be amazing. Until the year 1983, it all changed. I used to be one of the first mascots of Fazbear Entertainment. I was named Fred Beer, and my diner was called Fred Beer Family Diner. I was even built around the early 1980s along with my friend. Sometimes I called him either Straight Bonnie or formerly just Bonnie. We were best friends back then. We entertained children, sing some songs, and more. Until one day in 1983, everything changed. I can't believe that one of my sons threw his little brother into Fred Bear's mouth. Either way, Michael is in so much trouble after what he did. As for Fred Bear, I'm gonna have Henry to have someone to fix Fred Bear's jaw. What was that noise? Fred, are you in there? Fred, here, what happened to your jaw? I don't know, but that's also what I'm questioning about. Well, do you remember anything from how your jaw broke? No, sadly I can't really remember, but all I can remember is there was some teens holding a little boy which was crying. Well, I remember that too, but I can't remember what happened after that either. How come you can't remember anything from that? I don't know why I cannot remember stuff that basically already happened recently. Are you sure you were just playing around or something? No, I am not playing around. I know what happened after that.
You know what happened? Yes, I even saw what happened. And believe it or not, it's the reason why Fred Bazaar is broken. What do you mean it's the reason why my jaw is broken? If you really want to know Fred Bazaar, it's going to be hard to believe. Can't you just tell us? Sure thing. Here's what happened. I was in my box earlier that day, which was normal enough, until I started hearing a child crying. I took a peek outside of my box and I saw four teens standing next to the kid that was crying. Then they picked him up and took him to the stage, where you two were performing. What happened next was horrible. While Fredbo was performing, the bullies threw the child into Fredbo's mouth, and when they did... Fred crushed that child's head with his jaw. After that, the dino was closed and will be set to stay closed for a while. And that's all what happened earlier that day. If that's true, then... I'm a monster. But Fred dear, it wasn't your fault. It was those bullies that threw that boy into your mouth. You're right. It wasn't my fault. Now that's good to hear. Spring Barney, I think it's time to leave Fred but here for now. But, what about Fred here? He's here for repairs on his jaw, he'll be fine. But, I don't want to leave him here. He's right Spring Barney, I'll be fine. But... Well... <sighs> Alright then! Okay then, now come on Spring Barney, it's time to return to your stage. Go on Spring Barney, just trust me again, I'll be fine. Just remember Fred dear, that incident wasn't your fault. Don't worry about it Fred but they'll fix your jaw soon enough. Okay, thanks, Puppet. No problem.
Eventually they fix us, but I wonder if I can fix myself. Shouldn't you be in parts and service? Well, yes, but don't worry, I fixed my jaw. Wait, really? How did you fix your jaw? I found a toolbox and I somehow managed to fix myself. Really? Come to think of it. None of us has even managed to fix ourselves before. Uh, well, guess I'm the first one to do that then. Fred the Spring Valley, there's something I have. How on earth is your jaw already fixed? Uh... I fixed it myself, why? What? You actually managed to fix it yourself? I mean... The newspaper? Um. Yes. How did something wrong on that newspaper? Well, it's something I was gonna tell you too. About what? It's something about the diner and the incident. The diner and the incident? What do you mean? I'm very afraid to tell you to this, but... The diner's now set to close forever. What? Yes, it's true. But, why is it now set to close forever? Because the child that Fred the Bit has sadly passed away after his injury. You mean that boy didn't make it? I'm afraid he didn't. Afterwards the owner decided to sell the rights of this place to his friend, who was the co-owner of this place. But Puppet, if this place closes forever and we're getting a new owner, we can still be in business, right? I'm not sure, Spring Barney. But what if we get scrapped or maybe even get... replaced? I hope not, Fredba. 
We'll just have to wait and see what happens. After finding out that my diner was closing down, me and String Bonnie were very upset from hearing all that. I felt horrible for hiding that kid, but I had to remember that it wasn't my fault. Soon they took us to the new location. But then... Me and String Bonnie could not believe what happened after we got there. Huh, this must be the new location. I wonder where Fred... <coughs> Wait, what? Who are they? Are these new animatronics? Where are we? Spring Bonnie? <coughs> Fred Beer? Where are we? I think we're in the new location. Already? Probably so. Apart from that, shouldn't we be on the stage? What? Uh... I have no idea. Wait, where's the puppet? The puppet? Shouldn't he be here with us? Fredba? Spring Bali? Puppet. What are you two doing here? What do you mean by that? And we don't know why we were put in here. Why would they put you in parts and service? Parts and service? What put us in here? I think I know what's going on. 
I've seen some new animatronics on the stage. I think you've been replaced. Replaced? I'm afraid so. But, how come they didn't replace you? I'm not sure why would they. After all, it isn't my decision to only have you two replaced. But, we can't be thrown out forever, right? I don't know, but only time will tell. But, what can we do about it? Best thing I can think of is wait. Wait? But you'll rot or something. Don't worry about it. But for now, both of you can stay here. And maybe you can give your replacements a nice warm welcome. A warm welcome? Yes. Now, you two stay here, until I decide to introduce you to our new friends. Fred dear, are you okay? I don't know, String Bobby. If only I haven't bit that poor kid's head, none of this would happen. Well... I guess we'll just wait here, perhaps. And maybe we'll go back to performing. I hope. True, and hopefully nothing will get any more worse. It wasn't long until it was time for the puppet to introduce us to our new friends. He told them who we are, then he told us who their names are, Freddy, Vani, Shaka and Foxy. Nice to meet you, Fred Beer. They actually seem nice to us somehow. <coughs> nice to meet you too, Freddy. As time passed, we were waiting and hoping to see if we get that in order sometime. <coughs> we then started to play along with catching the night guard. Ah, crap! And that was when I played along. Still no luck, Freddy? I'm afraid not, Foxy. But oh. <laughs> it felt like everything was gonna be fine. Until Spring Bonnie started acting strange. Spring Bonnie, are you alright? You think everything is fine as it is, don't you? What are you talking about? You think it's alright to rot in here? What? Spring Bonnie, are you crazy? Crazy? You think it's good being replaced? 
has gotten into your spring body. Besides, they're very nice to us, and you're starting to go against it. Why would we be friends with them? And has Papa done anything about it? No! But Spring Bonnie, he's just a traitor. That's what he is. And that's why I'm going to destroy him and our replacements. Spring Bonnie, don't you dare touch that. If you're not gonna help me, then I'll destroy them myself. Spring Bonnie, you can't do this. You need to stop. Well, I don't need anyone like you to do this. Now out of my way! Now time for my revenge to make the puppet clear. Where's the puppet going? I have no idea, but it's probably nothing important to us anyway. Who are you? What was that all about? There he is. I got to stop Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie? What are you doing? You know exactly what I'm doing. What are you talking about? And where did you get that axe? You outright abandoned us. All you cared about was our replacements instead of us. We were friends back then, and now you straight up stab us in the back. But, I never abandoned you or Fredba. Plus, I was gonna- Leave Puppet alone, Spring Bonnie. Oh really? Why should I leave him alone at this point? 
he abandoned us. That doesn't mean you have to destroy me him or anyone. We've been friends for many years. You can't do all this. This isn't like you. What was that? if you think replacing us is good for you. I'll show you how it feels to have what we went through. I may have done that work, but I'm not done yet. Spring Bonnie, please, I'm your friend. Not anymore. Since you tried to stop me, I'll destroy you too. No. You. Stop. How do I do that? Are you doing that? I don't know how to I. You may have some supernatural powers, but that's not gonna stop me. Spring Bonnie, listen, not only we were best friends, but we were almost like brothers. You can't do this to our friends, puppet, me, or anyone. Please. Just give up. Never. I'm sorry, but you leave me no choice. After that, the Pizzeria was closed for a while, but our new friends didn't get repaired. Instead, we were being used for spare parts, and that was when new animatronics came. The year 1987 has arrived. And of course, that was when I finally woke up. I still remember those times. And after all that, it was when I decided to call myself Golden Freddy. But, Goldie, for short. 
Not only do I miss being normal like I was back then, but I also miss him. And that incident was the last time I've ever saw him function. Hopefully someday we can come back in order again. And maybe along with that, we can be friends again, old friend. <laughs>